Stop, stop, stop. Welcome to the first ever 24 hour live stream of Top People Podcast. We, <laughs> <laughs> we going in all night, you hear me? Like, <laughs> yo, guys, this has been an incredible, incredible week in hip hop history. This is going to go down in the books, you hear me? Like, I have never witnessed the time. This is a, just an amazing time to be alive, first of all. For us to be able to get two heavyweight juggernauts of this fucking genre right here going at it head for head, back to back, like not letting each other breathe. This is real hip hop. You hear me? So like oh, I am so excited some for good this. Good food. Man, I swear it's been a minute. We should start off with a talk. Let's go ahead. Let's go let's get this up popping. Let's go. Let's go. You wanna take a shot? Uh, yeah, 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 let's take a shot, man. We're taking a shot, man. Well, come on, culture. man. Come on. We're doing it for the culture, man. We out here tonight, man. We out here tonight. I hope everybody is having a good time out here. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat right now. My man, Young Tech Nine, he said he's in Ghana right now. Shout out to Ghana. Shout out to everybody in uh, Africa right now. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> My man, Don in the building, man. Shout out to Big Donnie. Let me see. Let me see, man. Um, yeah, man, we're going to get started. I'm going to tell you guys what we're going to get into tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He said bong. Bong. Um, but yeah. So starting off, guys, we're going to get into all of these records so far. Okay. So right now there is over. They ain't give us no breathing room, no, did they? I swear. They say, yo, y'all going to work tonight. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten records so far between the two. If you guys are not counting first person shooter like that, then it's eight records directly between Drake and Kendrick. Okay. We already talked about Drake's push up record and his tailor made freestyle. So we're going to start with Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria, the 616 in LA, then uh, Family Matters, then Meet the Grams, mm -hmm. then Not Like Us, then The Heart Part Six. We're going to get into all of these records. We're going to then take a vote and see who has, who's up top right now. You know what I mean? We're going to give some of our predictions because I think this is far from over. Um, I cannot wait to give my predictions on, on this whole situation right now, but I just couldn't be even more happy to, 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 to be a, a part of this and get into it. So man, I, I have been biting my nails. <laughs> Yo. All weekend. Man. I was like, Monday, Monday, Monday. I know. Me and me and Carmen normally like we like talk right before the pod or like sometime throughout the week we do to like, like talk. A pre -pod. Yeah, like a little pre pod to get warmed up. We we purposely avoided each other, I'm sure. <laughs> it's, it's like, we just said text to each other like, yo, do you see what's Did happening? You see that? There's nukes outside right now. I just want to make sure people are safe. <laughs> you know, in the <laughs> Did you feel the backlash? I mean, <laughs> The aftershock. I, I throw all the aftershocks out there, man. I just want to make sure everybody's okay, everybody's safe, because there is nukes outside right now, okay? All right. Without further ado, um, let's just get right into it, man. The first record, Euphoria. My freaking God, man. We're going to listen to the record. We're going to react to it, break it down, and um, you know, give our opinions on this jump. So let's get right to it. This is Kendrick Lamar, Euphoria. Let's go. Euphoria. Them superpowers get neutralized. I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. You're moving just like a degenerate. Heavy antique is feeling distasteful. Why calculate? You're not as calculated. I can even predict your angle. Fabricating stories on the family front. Cause you heard Mr. Morale. A pathetic master manipulator. I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist. You're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but Fubu never. Never have been your collection. I make music that electrify them. You make music that pacify them. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. There's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master oh manipulator and a ritual liar too. What? But don't tell no lie about me, Ooh. and I won't tell truths about you. No, 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 no. Stop it right there, sir. <laughs> Yo, this, when I first heard this, I was like, okay, he better not do this whole poetry thing all the way through. Mm -hmm. But, like, Going back, listening to this record over and over, I'm so glad that he did it this way. Oh, yeah. Because, spoiler alert, I mean, I'm sure you guys already heard this record, but each octave of this record just builds up more and more and more. Like, his aggression gets more and more and more 
throughout the rest of this record. So he starts off really light. Like even the bar right here where he talks about how I make music that electrifies him, you make uh, music that pacifies him. Double entendre, because he's alluding to Drake um, <laughs> and, you know, underage people, you know what I mean? But he said, I'm going to spare you this time. That's just a random act of kindness, you know what I mean? Um, but Kendrick is, like, very much about the culture. Like, even though Tommy, Phil, uh, Tommy Hilfiger bar stood out to me as well, too, because oh, yeah. if you guys are into the in the fashion, there's, like, you know, rumors back then where Tommy... <laughs> Yeah, it was racist. They didn't like black people That's wearing their right, clothes. Yes. You know what I mean? So, like, it's like culture vulture, culture appropriation. You know what I mean? Like, you want to benefit off of us and our likeness, but you don't actually like us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Same thing with Chris Style when Jay-Z said, yo, we're not drinking that shit no more. Kendrick is just doubling down on that. He's really saying that Drake is just appropriating the culture. And this is just the beginning of this, so. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Then the call back, but don't tell no lies about me, and I, I won't tell, tell no truth, truth about, about you. you. Like, oh. Now, it's funny because, you know, me and Carmen a couple of episodes back before, like, we played that record mm -hmm. from the hard part four where Kendrick warns at the time he was talking to Big Sean, mm -hmm. but also addressing the room, like, yo, <laughs> don't tell a lie about me. Too. Yeah, exactly. Say, Let like, me go to raise my family. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell a lie about me. I won't tell truth about you. He echoes this, you know, sentiment again. And gets right to it. So here we go, man. Lie you too, but don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truth about you. It was so calculated. It was. Shoo. And you can Shoo. tell with his brain where he goes with this man. It's the same. The more the record, the more the mm -hmm. Just like, Shoo. you know what? I really hate this nigga. Hate him. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I'm out the way, yeah, I'm no okay Yeah, the island right here is remote, okay I ain't thinking about no reaper Nigga, I'm reaping what I so okay Got a Benjamin and the Jackson all in my house Like I'm Joe, okay, hell I think this bar right here, too When he's talking about ain't no reaper Niggas, I'm reaping what I so okay I I think this is actually a shot at J. Cole Um, if you guys don't know Let me see Johnny P. Caddy Lyrics Cause J. Cole, I I think people don't realize. Hey, he told him take your best shot and then take another one. Like I don't want no problem. J. Cole has been He made an executive decision. J. Cole has been kind of sneak dissing like a little bit too. Like, all right, so J. Cole's bar here on, on um the Benny the Butcher record, Johnny P's Caddy. Niggas want me on a song. He gonna see the wrath of the reaper. I'm probably going to go to hell if Jesus asked for a feature. Well, who, what other rapper has been portraying himself as Jesus? Uh -huh. Well, if you look at Kendrick Lamar, he has been performing his Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers tour, him with a crown similar to Jesus. Uh -huh. Did I, these I don't put nothing past these guys, okay? Yeah. I these guys are extremely intelligent and, and stuff like that, and calculated, and they think <laughs> a lot of these bars goes over people's heads, mm -hmm. but they know who their target is, and the people that hear it, they be it's like you know it's for you, exactly. You know who it's for. So when Kendrick addresses this, he's like, "I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga. I'm reaping what I sow." Okay, so that's I I believe that's towards J Cole. All right, I'm gonna keep going to it. I'm not gonna. Yeah, made his own voice and new types of lace. So okay, everybody wanna be demon till they get chipped by your throwaway. Ooh, that one, <laughs> that one went over my head for a second. Somebody was like, "What's Future's middle name?" You got it. <laughs> oh my God, go ahead, Carmen. Carmen, know what you talking about, man? Yo, everybody. Cause I love me. throwaway. Yeah, That's yeah. my song. That's my song. I love that song. I, I was like, oh. Come on, man. Future's middle name is Demon, man. That's crazy. That is wild. Demon. All right, we're gonna keep it going. We're just gonna go, we're gonna throw out every now and then some, you know what I mean? Some, some, some bars and stuff like that. But guys, this, this is actually, this is actually insane. This is actually insane. Shout out to everybody in the chat right now. We see you guys. Yo, this is Beef Cats right now. I promise you at the end of the night, we're going to get to the reactions. I'm here for you guys. Don't go nowhere. We got some shit to deal with at home. <laughs> we got, we got we, a war going on. We got outside. a war going on outside. I'm telling you, it's getting crazy out here. So we just need to go ahead and get through this, Joan, real quick. All right? 
All right, let's get to it. And I might do a show a day. What's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever watch your enemy down? Like with a poker face? Have you ever paid 500 down? Like to an open case? Well, I have, and I feel that both. But I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns. Then somebody die, they turn into nuns. Then I hop online oh, and pay for my city. He's fucking for life and digital hugs. His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior. They must have forgot uh -oh. the shit that they done. The ninja must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park his son. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> he said. <laughs> And I'm gonna slap the baby too. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, this double entendre is, is is just crazy, man. I I, bro, the more I hear this record, the harder it gets every time. You, I wish my raw reaction was like so much happened. I was like, oh, I can't wait for Monday, but bro, yeah, yeah, man, this is in fucking insane. His daddy the killer. He wanna be junior. They must have forgot the shit that they done. The mention, the mention must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park his son. Nigga, what? Now nah, run that shit back. Run that shit back. Come on, man. Digital hugs. His daddy a killer. He wanna be junior. They must have forgot the shit that they done. The mention must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park your son. The very first time I shot the Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make pop turn in his grave. All right. Okay, because you knew who you was going to get you. He was yeah. going to get you. You can't play with Pac, man. He was going to get you with that AI. You can't play with Pac. Come on. West, West Coast is not, is not feeling that, man. Yo, if you guys don't know... Drake is actually a hip hop item collector. Mm -hmm. Like he likes collecting memorabilia from hip hop legends and icons. You know what I mean? Like even when he was uh, beefing with Pusha T, he had one of the, um, the clips early mics and stuff like that. When um, he has like a bunch of Pharrell chains and stuff like that. But he also got a hands his hands on um, a Tupac ring that he paid like a million dollars for. And Kendrick is like, Collecting yo. rap memorabilia, like Infinity Stones. It's exactly. Like, literally pissing these people off. You know what I mean? And I think Drake is super strategic. He's not going to get Tupac's ring for no reason. He saved this for Kendrick himself, I'm sure. Because he, he wants to stunt on him. You know what I mean? Like, I know this is your idol, but yeah. So, um, this this was definitely um, irk Kendrick's nerve a little bit. And this is also off of the Taylor May freestyle where Drake... Um, use the Tupac um, AI voice as well too. So Kendrick's like, we're not gonna let Tupac turn over in his grave. You got it twisted. What is it? The braids? Nigga got me looking at my braids differently. Like, <laughs> 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 it's like God damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and anytime you argue with somebody with the braids, what is it? The braids? Right. <laughs> Your braids too tight. Your braids too tight. What's going on, man? Oh my God. Let's get back to it. What is it? The braids? I heard your finish, you don't work for me no more. Okay. There's three ghosts left, and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I love them to death, and then eight bars, I'll explain that phrase. It's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. There's no accent you can sell me. You're cold and I be no, I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell for real for him. I the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing pee. Let me Let see you push a T. You spinning again on him you think about pushing. Me. Yo, <laughs> it's a bar. It's a bar, man. Yo, he said, "Why? You know, you over here trying to beef with Pharrell? Talk about you're gonna melt down your chains. That's what the whole meltdown record was with him and uh, Travis Scott. Mm -hmm. Drake has a bunch of Pharrell chains. He he pretty much alluded that he is gonna. He doesn't care. Like I'll just melt all this shit down. Like that's what the whole meltdown record verse was from Drake. And you know, Drake has this beef with Pharrell. So Kendrick's like, "Fuck it, I'll inherit the beef." You know what I mean? I'll hear this beef and um, fuck Push and P, fuck Push and Perel, and also the song you did with Gunna, Push and P. Let me see you push a T. <laughs> Gunna woke up like, nigga, <laughs> yo. he got the meanest straight. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo. What is this <laughs> Gunna just like, yo, I'm over here man, doing man. some Apple beat records. I got a new album coming out. Look, I've already been stressed out enough. You know what I mean? Leave me alone. <laughs> What is that? What y'all bring me in it for? Listen, <laughs> I would be honest with you guys. Everybody should steer clear. Every other rapper. I if, think they have, though. They're like, I. I go. 
Poor Four Bats. I don't know if you know Poor Four Bats. He dropped his album. He and he actually uh tweet. Let me find Four Bats tweet. Um, let's see Four Bats tweet. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's the real bat. It's the real bat, though. Hold on, let me, let me. I forgot he spells it like you know, niggas. Sorry, so let me see. <laughs> <laughs> um, because Four Bat finally dropped his album. Let's see. Oh yes, that is his name. Hmm. Damn, I ain't even listen to that. that yeah. was, uh, nobody got time for this. You dropped your album at the worst time. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I was I was ready for an album. Right. But why would you drop it right now? Yeah, nah. Basically, he was asking Kendra, he's like, yo, can you at least give me the weekend? Can y'all can y'all do can, this can later? I, um... <clears throat> no, he must have deleted the tweet. But um anyway, yeah. Every other rapper should get out the way, man. This this is this is for the this big dogs the only. Time. This, this ain't the time. This ain't the time. Leave it to Drake and Kendra. Uh, no funny, like you could have dropped it this weekend. And yeah, like, yeah, it would have died down a little, just a little. But nigga, but nobody you dropped it in the middle of the war zone. So your crap, it got crashed. Shout out to Austin. He said he deleted the tweet. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, get up out of here. But <laughs> all right, let's get back to it, man. I park your son. That's man, cool. terrorist thorn. I'm terrorist Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. We ain't gotta get personal. This a fake fake. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make kind of wonder. Like, damn, another straight. straight. Oh, yeah, <laughs> gimmicks not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now, let me say, I'm, I'm the, the biggest, biggest hater. hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the. I, I thought that this was just like another like throwaway bar or bridge or something like that, but then this is actually in a reference to DMX. DMX went on the Breakfast Club and they Oh asked, yeah, he was all like <laughs> <laughs> They asked DMX like nigga. what he thinks about Drake. He's just like, like I hate his face. I hate, I hate the way he dressed. About this nigga. Yeah. Um even though like, you know, before DMX passed away. DMX. Yeah, rest in peace to dog, man. Um before DMX did pass, he did go on Breakfast Club um again and he did say that he actually does fuck with Drake now because Drake actually sampled DMX for views, you know, what the bitches want from a nigga. Um, uh-huh. I think it's in nine, um, the record nine on uh, views. And um, yeah, DMX gave him his flowers. He's like, like, yo, that, that took a real man to stand up and do what he did. You know, even I thought I was coming at him. So he gave him his respect there. But mm-hmm. Kendra said, fuck all this shit. I still hate this nigga. <laughs> Okay. Bitches, you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we, it's not just me, I'm with the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black, black features till you finally feel that you're black, black enough? enough? I'm like Drake with the melodies, I don't like Drake when he yeah. act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. You're my first one, like my last one. It's a classic, you <laughs> have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Then tell them where you get your abs from. All right. Oh! Hold on. Hold on. He said he ain't got no nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the man? Where'd you get the man from? <laughs> hey, young. Uh, I'm going to be objective, okay? I'm going to be objective here, okay? As you guys know, I fuck with Kendrick. Um, but I, I'm going to be objective. For Kendrick to say that Drake does not have a classic album is false. That is absolutely false. We can't. <laughs> I think he slid that in there right before the BBL line. Like, nobody Bruh. was thinking about that. <laughs> right. Everybody was like, oh, shit, he got a BBL line. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. All right. If we're going to look at Drake's discography, right? No, and, no. Drake's definitely, like, goaded. Like, yeah, like, like, Drake has at least four classics. Mm-hmm. At, at bare minimum, bare four minimum, classics. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm putting Take Care, Nothing Was the Same, Views. Um, views if you're reading this, it's too late. I yeah, know some. Oh, yeah. I know some people will consider that a mixtape. I consider it an album. Do what mm-hmm. you want. That's still a classic mixtape or album. I don't care. That's a classic. Um, the other ifs, the honorable mentions, would be either Scorpion or um, So Far Gone. People will have up there as a classic. No, I know. Like, what was the one? But his father was the, uh, the, the more life. I like more life. No, that was like to me. That's Drake's like worst project. I wouldn't I, put that in classic I, at I all. I wouldn't put it in the classic, yeah. but he definitely got like a couple songs. On there, he like. got some junk. Like I don't know, that's definitely always been one of like. You fuck with it? Yeah. I'm gonna, I want to pull it up. We're gonna pull up Drake's discography. I'm gonna pull up Kendrick's discography, and you guys let me know who, how many classics do you guys Muse think? Was always like that one that, and uh, if you're reading this, is too late. Definitely like. 
Yeah. If you're reading this too late, it's my favorite Drake project yeah. by far. Like, um, all right, let me make sure I have this up here. Okay. Let me let me know in the chat how many classics do you think Drake has? Okay, we're gonna go over them. Thank me later. No. Take care. Yes. Nothing was the same. Yes. Views. Yes. Scorpion. Debatable. He does have God plan on that record, which is like his biggest record. So, eh. Certified lover boy. No. Honestly, never mind. No. For all the dogs. No. Her loss. I love that album, but I don't know if I'll put it as a classic. I, I think it needs more time to brew. I don't know if we're going to keep going back to that album like the rest. Um, let me see. So far gone, people might consider this a classic. If you're reading this too late, it's a mm -hmm. classic for sure. What a time to be alive with him in future. Mm. A lot of people sleep on that album. It's not a classic, but it's a solid, solid project. Solid, yeah. More life. Um... This is the um. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's the joint with diamonds on, dancing. Diamonds dancing. That on, was not. That was my no. I remember when that joint came out, and I yeah. was like, oh, because yeah. I always love Future and Drake. So mm -hmm. like, I but I always loved like I love Future. Anybody know me? I remember like when this album came out, I called my niggas on the you phone. You doing me dirty, bro? We got in the car. We was like, yo, no. we about to drive to nowhere right now. We just got in the car just to blast this album. I remember this, Joe. Like, what a time to be alive. What a time to be yeah, alive. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no, no that was that dark. Was definitely. That was uh, definitely up there. I fuck with mm -hmm. Yeah, Dark Lane uh, demo tapes is not a classic. So, yeah, I'm giving Drake, let me see. I'm giving him, I think, five. If you're reading this, it's too late. I might throw Scorpion in there. Views, nothing was the same and take care. I'll give him five. Think, what I you think, think? I didn't give Scorpion a chance to really brew on me outside of the ones that I would hear. Like it's a lot of songs with Scorpion. I think it's I might have lot. to review that one. This is the the double disc one. This is the one after you know he you know has a child and stuff like that. So it was a lot of Kanye disses on here. A mob ties. You know, eight out of ten. I'm upset. Um, fire, fire bars, you know what I mean? And then the B side was a little bit more chill. You got the Michael Jackson record on here, which kind of like people slept on that job. Yeah, I don't know. Scorpion didn't really do it for me. Yeah. Like, it, not saying I don't like the project, it's just not one of the ones that I go back to. Yeah. Versus like the, some of the ones that you just named, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm running back to those. Like, views, I'll go back to. Nothing was the same. Take care. Anything like post, even like anything post 2017. Like mm -hmm. Drake was like, oh yeah, prime time, like no skips. Right. Now Kendrick Lamar discography. This is where it gets interesting. I think people really forget. Um Kendrick. I was about to say, I feel like because he doesn't drop as e as often, right. it's very easy to forget how many gems <laughs> that like how many we still <laughs> yeah. like if you play, everybody's gonna sing. Yeah, 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 for sure. So for sure. Like it, I feel like also like in this internet area era, it's oh, I'm getting, I'm getting the mic. But <laughs> I feel like in this internet era, there's a lot of like children on the internet that like right. weren't around they for forgot. a lot of these Kendrick projects, yeah. like in their prime. Man. Like Poetic Justice, come on, now. was on the radio for like three, four summers. Yeah, like swimming in pools. real time, swimming pools, swimming you pools, man, the, man, like <laughs> the whole Good Kid, Mad City, like yeah. Certified classic. It's and Good Kid, Mad City is the only album to to last on the, the Billboard um two hundred for as long as it did. Like it's no other hip hop album has ever done it. It's still charting on Billboard. I still like, listen insane. to Good Kid, Mad City. Yeah, like I, that's one of them albums. Like this is certified. You can't if you like, argue that Good Kid, Mad City is not a classic. You're a hater. You're a hater. You're just and, a straight hater. Like that's one of the joints that I know for a fact. I'm gonna get on vinyl. Like I only get yeah, on yeah, vinyl sure. like certain albums. Yeah, and that's definitely one of them. Yeah. But Good Kid Mad City is certified classic for sure. Section 80, certified classic for sure. Um, in my opinion. Um, uh, I got actually a signed copy of Section 80 from from Kendrick. Yeah. What? Yeah. I, I still had that joint sealed up in the house. You know what I mean? Like I I man, Section 80, fire, classic, good kid Mad city classic, the pimp a butterfly classic, damn classic. Yeah. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is the only one that's questionable, in I my think, opinion. Like what? You know, we were talking about with Will the other day. It's like, mm -hmm. I think like after like that was like his last album with TDE. It was kind of just like, yeah. And 
Like, <laughs> let me just go ahead and get some. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like it. It wasn't. He wasn't necessarily aiming to have n- nothing that was like radio. Hits. Yeah. It was just like you know. Let me. I, speak I have to the people. Yeah, like this was a very Im- cultural, impactful album that had a lot of meaningful, deep. Um, records on there yeah you know and I, mean? I feel like a lot of people when they talk about this rap beef like they miss that whole point it's like right. a lot of it don't have to be bops like listen yeah. use your ears yeah open up your mind but um for kendrick to have four out of five though yeah that says a lot i mm-hmm. mean like no debating Kendrick has four out of five. If you don't think that these other albums are classics, then you might be just a hater. Like, but. no, I think if you don't think so, take a spin back, yeah, listen yeah. to them. Remember, yeah. remember, and then, and then come back and talk to me. Yeah. Um, let's see in the comments. My man also say he, uh, I love how people finally giving Drake his flowers, uh, for classics. Yeah. Drake definitely has classics. He said, he said, you sleeping on Thank Me Later? Uh, not really. Like, I, I like Thank Me Later. It was cool, but it's not a classic. It, it's really dated in its sound. You know what I mean? Like, there's some records on there that I still like, but it's more like nostalgia. Like, I remember hearing Over. I remember hearing um the record that he took from Kanye, um, I Better Find Your Love. You know what I mean? Those oh, two records were, like, yeah. really big for me in that high school. So. very big 2010 sound, yeah. like. Yeah. I better find your love. Exactly. Like those those drums like better th- find your heart. Those but are like, like nostalgia, but it's not but, like But I will say this, like Drake is one of those people that no matter how much you like or dislike him, mm-hmm. even Kendrick admitted it. That is like he he yeah. has at least one uh, at the very least five songs that you gonna sing if it come on. Facts. Facts. Yeah, yeah. You can't deny that. Like even yeah. Um he said I don't I didn't Listen to Section 80 so I can't judge it. But Good Kid, Mad City, To Pimp a Butterfly, damn, all classic. Bro, listen to Section 80. Oh, my God. You will love Section 80. Section 80 is a ma- amazing body of work. But, um, yeah, Section 80 is a classic for sure. All right. Yeah, so, I mean, they're around the same. You know, Drake just drops more. Kendrick drops less. But, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are we tripping? Are we not? I mean, sure. Yeah. If somebody was getting fifty percent of each one of my albums, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna cultivate. Yeah, facts. <laughs> All right, let's get back to this euphoria <laughs> record. We got a little out of hand, but let's get back to it. Twelve is a fast one. Pop, pop, pop. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? Eight. <laughs> <laughs> I love that song. I do too. <laughs> I love that song. Let me say that. I was like, oh. oh <laughs> yo, yo, if you guys don't know who Daft Punk is, man, Daft Punk actually is very interesting because Daft Punk won Album of the Year at the Grammys the same year that Kendrick Lamar was nominated for Good Kid, Mad City. Mm. Kendrick, Kendrick's Good Kid, Mad City, um, that was a year that he got robbed. You know, he was nominated for a bunch. Didn't win any um, for Good Kid, Mad City. Lost to Macklemore. That's when Macklemore apologized. Said, "Yeah, this out. This this." Um, yeah, like Grammy no really one's no one's ever been gonna. I've never been anyone, and people be like, "Oh, play play that Macklemore." Like what? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, they were big tripping for that. They made a mistake. Um, Talk and, about some. I'm gonna pop some tags. Like I don't give a fuck about your tag popping. Right. That's like the one song that anyone thinks of when they think of Macklemore. Like, I, he has no other memorable projects. And yes, this is hate. I don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's gone at this point. Oh, uh, <laughs> now. Came and, and went. Came and went. And this is actually how I discovered that. I mean, I heard the Harder, Better, Faster before Kanye sampled it was stronger, but I haven't heard no projects from them since then. And then I hear that they cleaned up the Grammys. And I'm over here what, looking like, why didn't Kendrick get any? And Daft Punk keeps winning everything. So I was like, all right, let me go back and listen to this album and see what they're talking about. Fell in love with this album. I think you definitely put me onto that one. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like early on. Yeah. Random Access Memory is a classic, classic album. Love this album timeless if you guys haven't heard it yet check it out but um it's funny how kendrick did a callback to daft punk for that reason and also First them wearing all, helmets throughout this entire beef let's just <laughs> let's just say one thing this nigga don't forget a fucking thing <laughs> he's gonna be beefing with you that boy like, brain different no, no, he, said, he said yo you thought i forgot I'm like no 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 that boy brain different man that boy brain real different um all right so let's get back to it man <laughs> this nigga said you better walk around with a helmet on, nigga, because I can do headshots. All right, let's get back to it. 
last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? Hey, top dog. Who the fuck they think they playing with? Uh-oh. Extort your mom middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. Uh-oh. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hang with. I ain't the way that you dress. I ain't the way that you dress. I ain't the way that you dress. No, because Yachty fucking favorited some tweet. Oh, about yeah. Him. He said it was an accident. It was my bad. My bad. <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't put me he in there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo. No, when I seen that, I was crying yeah. laughing. He said, I. I, I. <laughs> A lot of people wanted to. <laughs> a lot of people wanted to agree with Kendrick. Wanted to be on his side, but they know they can't because of politics. He said, I yeah. Th- what you won't do though? What yeah. you won't do? <laughs> yeah, because you can't deny. I mean, even the reference track that came out with you know Yachty with uh, doing the double shit uh, popping record that he did for her loss. Everybody knew that Drake didn't write that record. Like, I mean, for most people, like if you really dug into it, I knew that that was a Yachty record. Yachty's been very heavily involved with Drake recently giving him ideas and stuff like that. I'm not too mad at that. This is where Drake kind of gets away with things. Like he doesn't, Drake is not known as the lyrical, lyrical rapper, right? Even though he has a good pen and he writes for other artists, he still collaborates with other people to give him ideas and stuff. As any good artist should. Like I, yeah, I yeah. don't, me personally, I don't have a problem with that, especially with a prior like discography like his. Like, yeah. it's like you already like kind of got your flowers. You so you can, you can, you can experiment with other stuff. Like, Every other genre collaborates with music. Yeah. Like, and you know what I mean? Like, hip hop is the only one that we we frown upon collaboration. That's because of the origins of hip hop. Yeah, it's for like sure. Niggas was really spitting. But yeah, we yeah. ain't there no more. So, so for people to keep using it, it can that, evolve. Like a, yeah. It can evolve. You know what I mean? I, I will say for people like Kendrick that take so much pride in writing their own records, cool. You can, like. Cool, but then it's just like, well, don't come at me talking about some you the king of this when. I do that and you don't. And I think that's where Kendrick's alluding to. He's just like, you know, he He's talks like, no, about we're not the same. Yeah, like, and that's Kendrick has talked about this for a minute. It's like, I promise I'll never tell, but a bunch of y'all rip rappers are rapping like you got um a uh, bottom buck in a two man sale, you know, going back to the King Kunta uh reference. You know what I mean? Like Ken- Kendrick has been proud of his pen and baffled by how many other rappers are sharing each other's ideas and pens, you know what I mean, to get better. So um if you are him, if you're Kendrick, you can say that. You know what I mean? That that is an extra, you know what I mean, bragging extra flex. right. Yeah, it's extra flex, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's all that is. All right. You know that we got some shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga. I even hate <laughs> when you say the word nigga. Some shit nigga. just cringeworthy. You ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still love when you see success. Everything with me is Speaking blessed. Keep making me dance, waving my hand, and it won't be no threat. I'm knowing they call you the boy, but where's a man? Cause I ain't, I ain't seen, seen them yet. yet. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed them yet. Can, Can I bleed them? them? When I see you stand <laughs> my sexy bread, I believe you see two bad bitches. <laughs> It don't help. Oh my it don't god! Don't help that like Drake got the picture and he's just like. Oh my god, dog, yo. He's like, like next to her, like, <sighs> man, like that's his own it's girl. A it's a setup. It's a setup, Mo. Like, like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. This is a funny ass bar. I, I fuck with Kendrick. I believe you see two bad bitches, bro. <laughs> and the whole play on okay, the whole play on Kendrick. Kendrick is very smart, and I peeped this in the beginning of this record. Kendrick is somewhat pandering, or this could be organic, to, to the internet, to black women oh. specifically, mm-hmm. because even in the earlier bar, he said that you know I hate the women that Drake fucks because they confuse themselves with being real I women. I feel like he's always done that though. Like yeah. that's nothing new. Yeah, no. Like Kendrick has always Kendrick's been like always been for pro black, pro black. Like I want the natural joke. You know what I mean? Like I want to see your tiger stripes and all that stuff. Like Kendrick is like, yo, I love black women. Like so always been about that. Like, I guess it's like another point to his angle of like, mm-hmm. oh well, you're just kind of culture vulture, and then you're white. You, you're white. You got white baby mama. Right, and, and they you, all and you known for only messing with foreign looking women. Like and they all try to be black. 
they all getting features to make themselves I look think it's black. Been, like the, the Adonis mothers, but outside of I that, I mean, you know, she got she got some ass on her. You know, she got some lips on her. Like I all ain't seen features. her lately. I remember when she just know. looked like Big Bird, but. Um, <laughs> Oh my god! Respectfully, I don't, even, I don't even. I don't know what she looked like, but no, she looks like a witch. Of oh, the oh my god! Like that lady all right, like, shit! All right, uh, shit! You, you go ahead, man. What else you gotta say about it? Like, go ahead. She looks like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, and you know, come out of these. <laughs> oh my god, Carmen! Oh, what? <laughs> but um, but yeah, but I, I'm just saying, like. It is no secret of the type of girls that Drake normally goes after. Yeah, it's like the, the it's BBLs, a known thing. the the you know the 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 surgery feature stuff goes into like very plasticky, which is yeah. no no problem. Nothing wrong, no. But no, it's just I like, love the plasticky bitches too. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no, no I hate. Get some you plastic know? myself. But yeah, but, I mean, it's nothing, um, there's nothing wrong with that, man. But, but it's a certain kind of plastic that everyone knows. Like if yeah. you look at. Certain people, you're like, oh yeah, Drake's type, like, mm-hmm. right? And it's I, just, I think it's just the origin. I feel like it's of the same insane. thing with Chris Brown too, but mm-hmm. I ain't gonna drag you into this, Chris. <laughs> Chris got a lot of got a lot of mess himself. He still got to worry about his beef. That was interesting. All right, um, all right, let's get back into it, man. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Let's pray for percentage. Show me your splits. I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try cease and assist and I like that record. Oh, you what, you like, like that record? Back to back. I like that record. Let me get back to that for the... He did. He went back to it for the record. Yo, this man has been plotting on Drake all this whole time, man. He got back to the record for sure. We're going to get to it in a minute, but yeah, man. Very strategic move, Kendrick. Why would I call around trying to get turned on, niggas? Y'all thinking my life is wrapped? That's whole shit. I got a son on the raise, but I can see you. No, 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 my dad. Looking them up. No, 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 Joe Hill Austin, funny he was in a film car, AI, and my six six telling me to off him. I'm a big niggas all in the coffin. Yeah, OB home niggas is dick riders. Tell them run to America to imitate heritage. They mm. can't imitate this violence. Nope. What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast, and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three hour time difference. Mm. Don't speak on the family, Crody. Can't get deep in the family, Crody. Talk about me and my family, Crody. Someone go bleed in your family, Crody. I be a new hog king eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy, Crody. Shout out to New Old King. <laughs> they got a bag. Let me tell you. Mm. I've seen, I don't know how accurate this is. I've seen it on Twitter, but mm-hmm. i definitely seen somebody said, allegedly, mm-hmm. a schoolboy Q came to Cole and was like, you stay out of this. <laughs> Did he, th- that don't. was, from, shout out to schoolboy. Schoolboy probably said, knew. Like, he said, this might get ugly. Yeah. And I like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> like, you seem like a peaceful guy. Like, you just like the rap rap. These niggas want to take their heads off. He said, I like you. Yeah, yeah, And I think... You should get far away from this you beef. Should, you should stay out of this. Yeah. You enjoy your life? If he he said, I know you think that <laughs> we better start play playing. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. even Kendrick mentioned that. He was like, uh, what? Well, one of the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, we could have just kept it at that, but you wanted to make it personally. Let's, let's take it personal. Right. And... <laughs> And this bar right, this bar right here is so clever. Um, a lot of people don't pick this up. So when he says "don't speak on the family," Crody, he keeps oh, mentioning yeah. Crody. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, that's a Toronto slang for you know friend and stuff like that. But it's also funny because Drake has a cat named Crody. What? <laughs> what? Oh Hold up, man. my god! Drake's what? Cat. You call him a pussy. <laughs> What? This man is a menace to society, bro. He said, not only have I hated you, I've studied how much I've hated you, and it's been festering for years. Now Crody has his own fucking Twitter. <laughs> is he a real cat or hey. an AI cat? Like, <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, no, bro. <laughs> Drake's probably sitting in his lair just observing the internet. Like, Oh, my God. Drake talks about his cat, Crody. I'll Hold be on. back. Hold They'll on. be back, too. They always come back. There's actually video evidence of this. Oh my god! Hold up. Can I get volume, please? Oh uh, yeah, that's my cat right there. Maybe for all the. I mean, you did this for all the dogs. Maybe this is next for all the cats. This is for all the cats. Yeah, that's my cat's name is Crody. The other cat as well, Crody. 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 
Cody. Oh, co you gotta say it like that, though. Cody. Cody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kendrick. Nigga. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Yo, yo, guys. <laughs> oh my god. This nigga is calling him a pussy at the same time, bro. Like, <laughs> this nigga is up. Kendrick is, is, come on now. You you cannot. I've been waiting for this moment my whole Come life. on, man. This, this man, this man is him, bro. This man is him. Yeah, Drake, you're not battling Meek Mill no more. This is not even push your teeth. This is him. This is this is the boogeyman himself, bro. I think Kendrick really was like, like, no, you sit up and you talking to me, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. this ain't no play play. And I really think I, at first, like, Drake was kind of treating it like a game. And he's like, no, nigga, you yeah. sit up when, when I'm talking to you. Like, yeah. Niggas got it twisted. He took a five-year break, you know what I mean? Thinking that he's it's sweet now. His last album wasn't as popular as his last, but this is still Kendrick Lamar. Still him. Oh, my God. All right, let's finish this record, man. We still got other records to get to tonight. <laughs> Yeah, she's in five. We can do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas. I don't trust y'all niggas. I weigh 150 and thump y'all niggas. I weigh 150 and thump y'all niggas. Nobody never took my food. Whoever that's fucking with, I'm fucking niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. That's something you don't want to do. Ooh. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. <laughs> We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Stop. My God. My God, dog. Uh, Kendrick freaking Lamar um, euphoria. Um, I ain't going to lie. When I heard this record, let me see. What round were we on? This was, this is right after push-ups and Taylor May freestyle where Drake is begging Kendrick to drop. And then Kendrick drops this atomic bomb on the industry where it's so impressive that as soon as this record drops, it starts doing amazing commercial numbers, surpassing Drake. People are not just listening to this record one time be like, that was cool. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. It, this is on repeat. Repeat. Yeah. I yeah. know I had it on repeat. Yeah, yeah. On accident. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> this show is hard and it gets better over time. It ages yeah, it like five does. Lines, It definitely you know does. I mean? Even listening to it here, it got better to be. And I just want to say this. Like, I know what this looks like. Uh oh, what does it look like? But I am not biased. Yeah, yeah. Because you said it before, nothing's going to get you to stop listening to Drake. Music. I love Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like what I found out. <laughs> You know, oh, shit. all's fair and love more. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, and, you know. Um, and I'll be honest, <laughs> niggas be lying. You know what I mean? And sometimes the lie be, you know, niggas be lying, bro. Like, I don't I, know what's I, true and what's I not. I don't know, man. I, listen, <laughs> listen, I, listen. I believe some of this shit. I, all I'm going to say is this. He oh, got on man. the internet and said, oh, you know, I'm weak. I'm weak. <laughs> he said, he addressed not <laughs> He addressed not having another daughter. He, he did, did not address being until he, he did after he did. <laughs> like fucking forty eight hours. Oh my of god! People getting in his ass. Yeah, yeah. Gun to head. Yeah. I'm like, it's a lot, man. It's hey, a lot. I'm like, hey, man. Uh, <laughs> you good? You want to press this? But honestly, man, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. Um, Euphoria, fire record. I. I really loved it, and when, even while enjoying this record, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that we're going to wait for a Drake response. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Kendrick said, I, I got another one. But wait, <laughs> he said, but wait, there's more. There's more.